Welcome back to Sports Class with Dr. K, and Happy New Year! You've tuned in to Part 2 of our Decade in Review, so if you missed Part 1, which covered 2010 to 2014, check out that video and you can pick up where we've left off. In this video, we're starting in 2015. Early in 2015, Ohio State capped a remarkable run through the NCAA's first football playoff with their third quarterback at the helm to win the NCAA championship. There were a number of other remarkable stories that year. American Pharaoh won the Triple Crown in horse racing, and Jordan Spieth had a remarkable run through golf's summer. But the most important story that year, I hate to say it, was Deflategate. The New England Patriots won the Super Bowl early in 2015, but that playoff run was tainted by Deflategate, the accusation that they had deflated the football slightly to the benefit of Tom Brady. That scandal carried on all throughout that season into the next season when Tom Brady was eventually suspended for the first four games. Eventually, the New England Patriots had the last laugh, winning the Super Bowl again in 2017 at the end of that season when Tom Brady was suspended. What else happened in 2015, you ask? Electronic store Radio Shack closed its doors and filed for bankruptcy. 2016. One of the remarkable stories that year was Villanova winning the NCAA basketball championship on one of the great buzzer beaters in championship history. LeBron James and the Cavaliers won the NBA title, upsetting the Golden State Warriors, who set the record for wins that regular season. Now, I've talked about the Warriors and their disappointment in the postseason in a previous video, so check that one out. The Cubs won the World Series that year, their first World Series title since 1908. And this was also an Olympic year. And again, Michael Phelps was the star, along with Usain Bolt, and the great gymnast Simone Biles. There were many great stories that sports season. Peyton Manning's retirement and Kobe Bryant's retirement. Remember, he scored 60 points in his final game on the way out. The death and funeral of boxing great Muhammad Ali was another huge story that year. But the story of that year, I've got to give the nod to Colin Kaepernick and the beginning of the national anthem protest. It was that year that Kaepernick first took a knee during the national anthem, protesting against racism and police violence. Eventually, those protests spread to other athletes and even other sports. And Kaepernick and that protest lingers with us even today as he still has not played again in the NFL since that protest began. 2017. The New England Patriots won the Super Bowl. Again, that was at the conclusion of the Deflategate controversy. The NHL champion was the Pittsburgh Penguins, repeating as champs from the previous season. And in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors got their revenge on the Cleveland Cavaliers and won the title that year. There were many other stories that year. Colin Kaepernick remained a big story. Conor McGregor, the MMA star, stepping into the ring against Floyd Mayweather. The boxing match itself turned out to be a disappointment, but there was so much hype around that story. But the biggest story of the year was KD, Kevin Durant, and those Golden State Warriors. Kevin Durant, who moved from the Oklahoma City Thunder to the Warriors that season, after coming so close to winning a title as a member of the Thunder. Was he a sellout? Did he go for the cheap title? Maybe so. But KD and the Warriors were one of the biggest stories of that year. 2018. This was a year dominated for the most part by repeat champions, familiar names at the top. Alabama and Tua Tungavailoa defeated Georgia to win the NCAA football title. The hoops champ was Villanova. The Golden State Warriors repeated as NBA champs. And the Boston Red Sox dominated the baseball season, winning another World Series title. This was also an Olympic year, the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics dominated by Chloe Kim and Sean White in snowboarding. And it was a World Cup year, with France taking the World Cup. There were a lot of other big stories in the sports year. Honorable mention goes to the first 16 seed knocking off a number one, as the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, knocked off number one seed, Virginia. 
Two-way player Shohei Otani was a sensation for a time in Major League Baseball on his way to winning Rookie of the Year honors. But the biggest story of that year was the resolution of the Larry Nassar sexual abuse scandal. Nassar was sentenced to 40 to 175 years in prison as nearly 300 women accused him of sexual assault. This trial was one of the most high profile in the era of the Me Too movement, meaning that it transcended the sports pages and became one of the biggest stories of the year. And 2019. Well, I've just done a review of 2019 in another video, so check that one out for a thorough recap of the most important sports events of that season. Some of the champions of this last season were the Patriots in the Super Bowl, Clemson Tigers in NCAA football, and the Washington Nationals winning the World Series. Other big stories were the New Orleans Saints missing out on a chance at the Super Bowl and a series of bad calls in the NFL playoffs. And Novak Djokovic beating Roger Federer in a classic at Wimbledon. But if you watched my recap of 2019, you might recall the biggest story of the year, the U.S. women's national team winning the World Cup and Megan Rapinoe and her various protests that summer. So, what was my biggest story of the decade? Well, this is a no-brainer. Jameis Winston winning the Heisman Trophy and launching an NFL career that is remarkable. This past season, he was the first quarterback ever to throw 30 touchdowns and 30 interceptions in the same season. It's got to be Jameis, the biggest story of the decade. So there you have it, a decade in review. We're looking forward to a great 2020, so tune in for more episodes. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.